Hey everyone, this video is about the Plus42 app, Thomas Ockin's enhanced version of his HP 42S simulator 342, and it had some really compelling features borrowed from the 48G and HP 27S, including an algebraic solver, support for units and directories, uh, financial operations and graphing. And as well as being a big upgrade for a lot of people's favourite calculator app, in a way it's an interesting exercise in retro design fiction, providing a vision of what HP could have done if they had released a true successor to the 42S. And for those not familiar with Free uh, 42S, it's a very high quality simulator of the legendary HP 42S calculator, which I have another video on. And although Freddy 42 recreates the functionality of the 42S accurately, it's not an emulator and it doesn't use any HP firmware. In some ways, Free 42 is already an enhanced 42S that supports loading and saving of programs and states and includes a number of extensions to the 42S instruction set and a dynamically growing stack. Uh, Free 42 is also the basis for the software on the Swiss Micros DM42. But let's switch to Plus 42 now. And as you can see, it literally extends the 42S with a lot more rows of text on the display and two new rows at the top of the keyboard. And by default, Plus42 displays eight rows, and this is configurable via the display menu. And the top row uh, shows the current directory similar to the 48G, and I'll talk more about this later. And in normal stack mode, we can now see there are four registers instead of uh, just the two on the 42S. Uh, the top row of the keyboard is dedicated to uh, soft menu keys. And this is more of a convenience rather than providing new uh, functionality per se, since the original 42S overloads its uh, top row, uh, depending on whether a menu is being displayed or not. Uh, but the second row of keys is all new. And the only other change to the keyboard is that the uh, top function menu um, which on the zero key, which is no longer needed, is replaced by a new time value of money menu. On plus 42, uh, the labels that correspond to menus uh, such as alpha, solver, and base have slightly uh, lighter backgrounds. And uh, plus 42 also supports uh, landscape mode. Uh, which works really well uh, using a similar keyboard layout. And so let's look at the new functionality key by key. And the DERS key lets us organize variables into a hierarchical directory structure similar on to the, uh, to the 48G or 50G. And there's always one directory called home. And at the moment, home is the current directory and displayed at the top of the screen. And so we'll hit the DERS key now, and uh, we can see soft menus for all the items in home. And I've created two subdirectories, uh, one for some user-defined units and another for some utility programs. And we can also see all the program labels defined in this directory. And uh, there are none in home at the moment, so we just see end. And we can, if we switch to the program editor, we can verify that. Uh, following end, uh, there are items for all the variables defined in home. And I'll point out two special ones. So there's a path variable, which I'll talk about later. And there's also a reg uh, variable, which is a global variable on the 42S. And it's a matrix of all uh, the register values. So let's switch into the util directory. And we can see the current directory has changed now. Uh, there's also a dot dot menu item, uh, which lets us switch back up to home. Uh, and then there are a couple of menu items uh, corresponding to program labels. And how Plus42 handles programs within directories is really interesting because on the RPL calculators, whole RPL programs are stored in single variables within a directory. Uh, but for keystroke programs, a uh, plus 42 needs to take a different approach. And how it works is that each directory gets its own program space and all the labels within that program space are displayed in the menu for that directory. And just like there is a current directory, there's also a current uh, program which gets displayed when you hit the program key. 
Uh, so let's uh, run the cube program, uh, which just cubes a number, uh, so that we can set the current program space uh, to the util. Uh, and then we can hit the program key uh, and we can see uh, some of the code that's defined in utils. And uh, one thing to be aware of uh, with, when referencing a program label or variable in uh, plus 42 is that by default it will search the current directory and then all directories up the hierarchy to the home directory. Uh, but say for our utils functions, we want to be able to run them uh, no matter what directory we are in. And the way we can do that is to add a reference to the utils directory uh, to the path variable in home. Uh, and path is a list, uh, which is a new data type added in free 42. And you can use the new list and append functions uh, to create and manipulate it. And so even uh, now I'm in the home directory, uh, when I hit the execute uh, command, I can actually see my program labels uh, from the util subdirectory um, available. And I think directories are a great addition to the 42S, especially for those who have a lot of uh, programs and data loaded on their calculator. And overall, they work in a very similar way to the 48G and 50G, uh, but with some slight differences needed for the 42S. And so the second button on the top row corresponds to units and adding units to real numbers lets you convert, factor and calculate with them. And for plus 42 supports the same built-in unit types as the 48 series, as well as uh, user-defined units. And so let's say we wanted to calculate how fast the Earth is spinning. Well, the circumference of the Earth is about 40,000 kilometres, so let's get into 40,000 and uh, we'll bring up the units menu and uh, select kilometers from length. Uh, and you can see kilometers has been attached to our real number. And the Earth revolves in just less than uh, 24 hours. Uh, so let's enter 24 uh, and pick hours from the time menu. And uh, we can divide those uh, to get the rotation speed, which is approximately 1666 kilometers per hour. So say we wanted to convert that to miles per hour, well on the 48G you can convert uh, using the purple shift key and selecting the unit you want to convert to. Uh, the 42S only has a single shift key and on plus 42 the easiest way to convert is just to add zero with the target units attached. Uh, so let's enter uh, zero on the stack and then we will uh, select miles per hour from the speed. Uh, menu and hit plus. And uh, this works since arithmetic operations in plus 42 uh, use the units from the X register for the result. And units are a really nice feature for a calculator when you're doing science or engineering problems because often that's where mistakes happen. And there's a good selection of built-in units from the 48G, but Open uh, plus 42 also supports user-defined units. And so in the time category, there's no uh, units for a week. Uh, but if we wanted to add that, uh, we could define a week in terms of another unit. So let's say um, seven days. Uh, and so we can kind of enter seven uh, and then pick uh, days from our time menu. Uh, and I've already stored this into a variable called weeks in the unit subdirectory. And to automatically to attach this uh, to a real number, you can assign it to a soft button uh, in the custom menu uh, and just tap that. So let's say five and then weeks. And so next, uh, let's look at equations. And the basic functionality works the same way as the solver on, say, the 27S or some of HP's business calculators, such as, as the 17B2 or 19B2. And so if we want to bring up the equation menu, uh, we can view a list of equations. And uh, the top one's my favorite example of uh, the full distance equation, the distance an object falls under gravity in time t. Uh, so here I've defined um, a, an equation name. Uh, and then distance is half times the gravitational constant times the square of time. 
And um, so if we uh, select that equation and uh, hit the Calc button, uh, we now get soft menus uh, to enter our unknown. So say we could set our time uh, to 10 seconds uh, and then solve for distance, uh, so 40, 490 metres. Or we could enter a distance, say, uh, one kilometre and solve for time. And PLUS42 implements the full features of the solver from the 27S, including sigma expressions, if statements, and let and get. And to give you an idea of the power of these, here's an example of an equation to calculate the Taylor series expansion for the function of sine of x. And if you're interested in the details of how this works, check out my video on the HP27S. Uh, so again, uh, we can hit the Calc button. And uh, last is the number of terms, so let's set that to 10. Uh, and we'll calculate the sine of uh, pi divided by 2 radians, or 90 degrees. Uh, so let's enter pi uh, divided by 2 uh, and set x. And then we can solve for sine, and so that's 1. And so you can see the implementation of the solver in plus 42 is really good. And yeah, having the solver on the 42s is pretty amazing. And the last major feature of PLUS42 is plotting, and so the 42S technically supports plotting graphs programmatically, uh, but there isn't any user-level functions available. Uh, but PLUS42 makes uh, this really easy, and we can just select one of our equations, so we'll pick the sine uh, Taylor series expansion, uh, and then hit the plot button uh, to go in our plot menu. Uh, and now we need to configure uh, the equation parameters that map uh, to the x and y uh, axis. So uh, the x-axis will be uh, x and uh, y will be sine of x. Uh, and we'll also set our constant. So last is um, the number of terms and we'll set that to 10. Uh, and then we can hit the, the plot button. Uh, and you can see it's fairly um, instantaneous. Uh, you can also the, plot the output of a program and control the uh, view window bounds. Uh, the 27S also has a new time value of money menu. And um, I'm not going to demo this uh, because it works the same way as on the 27S, but it's a piece of functionality that uh, many uh, will find useful. And so in summary, PLUS42 is a really great app, and in Thomas Alkin's words, it's for those who like the simplicity and ease of, of use of RPM keystroke programmable calculators like the HP42S, uh, but also enjoy some of the more advanced features of HP's RPL series. And I think he's been really successful. Um, my personal favourite feature is the solver, uh, which for me is a really a killer feature on any calculator. But I also think units, directories, and the larger display in combination with graphing are all things that many free 42 power users will appreciate and use a lot. And there's been a lot of talk on the HP forums about whether this plus 42 could be turned into a ROM uh, for the Swiss Micros hardware. And uh, there are a lot of technical hurdles to overcome in order to do this. Uh, plus 42 has uh, one extra row of buttons uh, than the DM42, uh, and the DM42 is quite memory constrained, uh, but no doubt if that were to eventuate at some point it would be very popular. And so although it's not expensive, PLUS42 is a paid app on Android and iOS. Uh, you can download it for free uh, on desktop systems, and I'll include a link in the video description. Uh, but I think it's really wor uh, well worth getting for its own sake, but also to support Thomas, who has made such a massive contribution to the calculator community. And I started by mentioning that PLUS42 is an interesting exercise in retro design fiction. And it really is a product that I could imagine HP having released as a logical successor to the 42S if the evolution of the calculator line hadn't taken a different path. And I think that speaks uh, to how well the extensions have been thought out and implemented. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.